Great. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Jyoti Gupta Dayal. First, I'd like to thank you all for participating in the workshop today. Uh, the, uh, the topic our group will be discussing is transitions of care for the UDN. And I'd like to first set the stage by highlighting a few questions we want to think about in our discussions. Our first question is, when is a UDN evaluation complete? Uh, we've spent a great deal of time talking about the intensive clinical evaluation in the last question, and would like to just reiterate that the UDN evaluation consists of a one-week phenotypic evaluation with some additional studies, such as metabolomics, model organism screening, reanalysis of sequencing data, or uh, gene function. But more importantly, want to emphasize that this one-week uh, phenotypic evaluation is what makes the UDN unique. And as we move into a phase two, is this the model we want to keep? Uh, at what point is the evaluation finished and care is transferred back to the primary home care? Second, what is the appropriate management of cases where a diagnosis is not made? Do we transition the family to a translational research program moving forward or clinical care that they need in the future? Third, how long are the patients followed? If and when patients transition to research or clinical care, how long do we follow them thereafter? And is it our duty to reanalyze new data? And finally, what patient-centered outcomes should be documented? What should we be tracking? We do have follow-up surveys in place, but how involved should we be in the transitions of care process? So. I'd like to introduce our team. We will start out with uh, Dr. Christine Eng, who will give a UDN perspective, followed by Dr. Susan Berry, who will give us an outside uh, expert perspective, and Dr. Darcy Kruger will moderate for about 20 minutes and summarize for us at the end. Um, below is my contact information. If you have any questions or comments about question two or any of the questions, I'll be around all day. Thank you.